for years people wondered why is the heart on the left side, why is the liver on the right side. It isn't always, occasionally it comes out wrong. And what determines that is the, is the cilia and the embryo rotating in a particular direction. Cilia are microscopic, hair-like structures on cells found throughout our body. By moving back and forth, they move fluid. This serves many important functions within our body. Most cells have them. It's, it's, uh, it's a very common thing in the body. It's important in many parts of the body. The, cil the cilia that move mucus in the lungs is just one uh, example. There are cilia in the intestine. There are cilia uh, in, on the hair cells. Uh, they're called hair cells because they have cilia of the inner ear and they sense the vibrations that enable you to hear the sound. There's an amazing thing in the embryo called the node in which cilia uh, rotate. And because of their molecular structure, they rotate in one particular direction. And that determines the left-right asymmetry of the body. In the case of cilia, we, we, have this, um, we have this model, and the model shows how the beat emerges spontaneously. It also shows how cilia interact through fluid, so that, so that not only are the individual molecular motors within, this cili within one cilium coordinated uh, in this kind of automatic way, but also we're finding interesting interactions between when you have arrays of cilia, and those interactions occur through the fluid. So there's very interesting synchronization between nearby, and sometimes anti-synchronization. So sometimes the cilia are beating together, and sometimes they sort of alternate, and we have to study this more, but, but the interactions are happening through the fluid.